On today's episode, Sharp Bike Connectors, are they awesome or are they an accident waiting to happen? I'm gonna get into all the details and tell you my opinions. So first of all, what are we talking about? Sharp Bike Connectors or Push to Fit? Shark Bite is one brand, there's actually many brands out there. This is a style of connector that can make a plumbing fitting without any solder, without any glue or any chemicals or fumes. All you do is actually push it right onto the pipe, just like this. So this is a three quarter inch end stop. This happens to be CPVC. And look at that, I just push it all the way down in and we've got now a watertight connection. The cool thing about these fittings is they work in all different pipe styles as well, CPVC, PEX, and copper, which is fantastic, especially for a remodel contractor or somebody doing some work on their house themselves. So now that you know what they are, let's actually do a quick cutaway, and I'm gonna show you how they work. I had Jordan Smith put this on the bandsaw, and here's what we got, here's what's inside here. When the pipe actually slides in, it's this EPDM rubber gasket right here, which is making a waterproof connection. And then the term shark bite, or the name, comes from these teeth right here. These are stainless steel teeth that are grabbing onto the pipe, allowing it to come in but not come out. And it's actually holding that pipe in place. But it's this gasket right here between the outside of the pipe and this rubber, which is making a watertight connection. Now, a couple things here you want to notice. This one has an inner um, kind of pipe wall. If you're using PEX, you gotta make sure that's in there because this is gonna stiffen it up and make sure the PEX wall can push hard enough against this to make a good tight seal. The other thing that's cool about this is if you notice this plastic piece right here, you can actually remove these. If you put a uh, removal tool on here, we can pop this thing right off and pull our fitting off for later use. And like I said, this is the part here that got me so excited when I first heard about it, is the fact that we can slide these right on copper and make a super tight, super, not just super tight, but waterproof connection right away, super cool. Now these are more expensive than a standard fitting. In fact, some of these were in the kind of eight to $10 range per, so they're not inexpensive, but so far very impressive. Okay, so what concerns do I have? Are these awesome or are these an accident waiting to happen? One concern I have is that it's rubber that's making a gasket. And I do have some concerns with the longevity of any rubber gasket. One of the things that worries me is that we've got chlorine in our water in the US. That's how we typically are disinfecting our water supply. And that small amount of chlorine over time could break down really any rubber gasket or any rubber seal in your house. And so these have only been on the market about 15 years. I don't know that these have multiple decades worth of reliability. That's one concern I have. This is just opinion, this is not fact. The other thing I have uh, that worries me a little bit about these is that they're a bit installer prone. You know, I found a great blog post as I was doing some research. I'll put a link to this. This is from pexuniverse.com. And they had common things that they see with these that could be a problem when it comes to install errors. And there are, of course, quite a few videos on YouTube about people that have had some issues with installing these and leaks that have been developed over time. A couple things that I did want to mention is you want to make sure that sharp bike connector or that push to fit connector is seated all the way in. You also want to make sure that you're not reusing your connectors too many times. You know, if you're a remodeling contractor like me, capping something off, I could see me capping something off, pulling this off later when the, clum when the plumber came back to the job site a couple months later and putting this back in my toolbox. But there's a lubricant in there that helps lubricate that O-ring and the pipe that's getting pushed in there. And really, I think you should probably only reuse these two or three times before that lubricant is gonna be gone. And my guess is that lubricant is also helping to protect the rubber gasket and make that waterproof connection between that gasket and the outside of the pipe. The other thing you wanna be cautious about these, they're not UV stable, so don't leave them outside, and they're not ground contact suitable without some protection. But I'll tell you what, these things are pretty tough. I did a quick test where I took some half inch copper, I filled it to the top with water and I put two shark bite connectors on here because I figured the water pressure would blow off that connector. And I'll tell you, look at this, it actually blew apart the connection. And the teeth, you can see almost like, like fingernails on a chalkboard dragging off the pipe as it came off. It, it did fail, but I'll tell you, it failed in an impressive way. I think this thing's pretty tough. And I think under normal use, this, this thing's gonna hold. Now obviously you don't wanna put these anywhere they're gonna freeze. Okay, so what are the takeaways? Where can you use these? Where don't you wanna use these? As I mentioned, no ground contact. 
I would be hesitant to put these in a wall personally. You know, they've only been on the market 15 years. I do worry about some breakdown. This is my personal opinion, but I would only use these in a place where you can see them in the future, meaning maybe a basement, a crawl space. This is the perfect thing to use if you're replacing your water heater yourself. You know, usually they have about a 15 year lifespan. If you're replacing your water heater, perfect. I would definitely recommend this. This could even be a do-it-yourself or weekend project. In fact, one of my guys in the crew did it for a friend's house last weekend. It took him two hours start to finish to replace a water heater. Did a fantastic job and he used all these connections push to fit. Super cool. On the other hand, if you're a builder, the place to use these is during the demo and remodel phase. If you're ripping out a kitchen for a client to do a kitchen remodel, think how nice it would be just to show up Turn the water off to the house, cut all the pipes in the kitchen, drop a cap on there, not have to call the plumber, and then a, a couple weeks or a month later when the plumber is ready to come to the job, it's all framed and ready to go, all he's got to do is pop this cap off and continue on with the plumbing. The fact that you can use these on any pipe style too, fantastic. I actually keep a half inch and a three quarter in my truck at all times now just for that reason. I think these are a fantastic emergency use type situation. All right, so to wrap it up, I think these, interestingly enough, are both awesome and a slight accident waiting to happen. Use them in places where you're gonna uh, assume that they're gonna be in service for 15 years or less. I think you're good to go with any situation like that. But as a builder or modeler myself, I would not bury these in a wall. I would not allow my plumber to use these. Guys, I hope the video was useful for you. Hit that subscribe button below. We've got new videos every Tuesday and every Friday coming out. And of course, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. See you soon.